Welcome back to Timber and Stone, everybody. Yeah, where we last left off, we had a invasion of sorts. What the heck? Come on, get down on that block, man. There you go. Good man, good man. We had an invasion of undead that we dealt with swiftly and easily. It was not a problem. Um, so since then, I've uh, I've went around and uh, just told our foragers slash woodcutters to just go around and keep killing sheep, keep, keep killing more boars uh, so we can get more spawns on the map. Hopefully, just hoping for chickens, really. Uh, hoping for chickens. So right now we have two chickens. They are alive and doing well. And we got some building here. The chicken coop is coming along very nicely. I see they already built the uh, the staircases so they could get that little annoying block there. What else? What else? And I did some um, did some assigning to uh, some more assigning for the building here for our uh, grand I guess tower palace thing. So yes, yeah, so that's coming along. I, I made a little archway here for uh, for kind of like a castle gate, something like that. Uh, because the, the castle gates, the same doors that are over here, they, they would fit nicely. Actually, let's see if they would fit. Structures, doors, uh, dungeon, no, castle gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it doesn't fit. What? Oh, well, well oh, that's right, because there's like the floor level right there. Well, that's okay. We can work on that later. We'll iron all that out later. But, um, but yeah, so that's going to be coming out cool. Chicken coop. All right. What else we got going on in the land of Chicklandia? It's so green and happy here. It's so just like nice. We got like people using the roads too. Look at this. Because people move a little faster on roads. Good for you. What you got in your inventory, sir? Got some food, wool, animal hide. Nice. You keep killing them, man. You keep killing them sheep. Let me just check to see. Yeah. Hunt boar. Hunt sheep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's see, miners still going about. What we got for resources here nowadays? So we got, yeah, Glenda Poppins making up some more steel. So how much steel we got? 12 steel, 12 iron, cool. I like it. She's going to make a few more bronze hoes after a while. Got some copper ore coming along here. Oh, what, what the heck? Oh, get back to farming. So yes, yeah, so I guess our tailor's done. Beatrix corn seed, back to farming. Looks like we're back in the green for food, but I want to get... Tons of food going here, though. I don't want to. I don't want to play this game of just like, oh, let's make some more farms because we're starving, kind of game. Like, I want to make like just. I want to kind of make this whole area a huge farm, uh, slash tree farm. <laughs> so, so we never have to worry about food again. And if that's not enough space up there, then the heck with it. I might just put farming over here. But I like to keep it all to like one general area, just so like, you know, all the farmers can just do their thing. Like right here, they just. Just going about, going crazy. I mean, look at them. Look at them loving this corn right here. They're just loving it. They're just like, love that corn. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, all right, level 10 tailor, 7 builder, 18 blacksmith. No way. Congratulations. We got to throw a party. Got to throw a party for her. I mean, well, it's, she's not level 20 yet, but level 18, that's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty ridic. Wow. Strong back. No wonder. Okay, good. good for her. Good for her. So let's see what the uh, what these stonemasons are up to nowadays. They're just like they're just like hammering away. We got 800 cobblestone. What? 1,200 stone. Okay, so it looks like we're back in the green for all the crafting stuff around here. All the uh, for for the builders for their materials and stuff. I should say. It looks like uh, looks like we're back in the green. Yeah, everyone still has like a bronze pickaxe going here. Still got a steel pickaxe for all the juicy nodes that. She seems to not be getting here. Let me uh, move her over here and just tell her, get these juicy nodes. That's right. I'm looking at you. Who are you? Rock Snout. Amelia, huh? That's right. Let's see if she's going to go pound these things right here. Because, like, she should, she should start attacking this area now that I moved her to that spot. She should start, like, hammering away over here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Yeah, that's right. You get those rich resources. You get them. Good for her. Okay, so the mines are coming along very nicely. Got some beds around here. I haven't, I haven't built a bed in like years, but that's okay. People can keep sleeping on the ground. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> not, not everyone's gonna have a bed. And like I said before, I think I'm gonna make everyone on a sleep schedule. Like some people sleeping at night, some people sleeping during the day, because, uh, and I'm just gonna unassign the, these beds, like, for names and stuff, like, because what is it, ownership? Yeah, Lucas Cobblesmack, guess what? 
Your bed's gonna be taken by other people, man. You gotta better get used to it. Cause we got too many people in this town. It's too many. It's ridiculous. There we go. Look at these farmers. Now I gave them. They want they want corn and pumpkins and potatoes and all that kind of crazy stuff. Well, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. I signed a ton of a ton of corn, pumpkins, and turnips and and uh, well, not not any wheat or uh, or flax or cotton because we're still pretty good with that. We still got enough room. Although you know what? Maybe we'll do some more flax. You know, maybe some more because um. Some, someone in the comments suggested to me that I should make a ballista and I'm like oh I thought it's like not in game yet or something like that and I look in structures and siege craft and look at this there's a ballista it's in there look at this I never used one of these things before this is absolutely amazing <laughs> so and that takes rope to make a lot of rope so if we're gonna make like a million of these because that's exactly what I want to do now and make a million of them uh, we're gonna need a lot of rope so <laughs> because they're so cool so maybe, uh, maybe I'll make this little space here. I was saving it for like cotton and that, but maybe I'll just make that all flax. Because flax is awesome. I think you can even make like cloth out of flax too. It's, it's just like an all around amazing thing. Uh, farms. Flax. Oh, there's only 30 flax seeds. Well, that's gonna change. Boom. Oops. Maybe I should do the 5x5 five five, uh, strips too. So I could turn them on and off kind of deal. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. One, two, three. Three, four, and five. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So we get five of those planting up there. See how our uh, flax is gonna explode with that. Let's get a couple. Of these. Look at them. They're all like bunching up, having a party. Get, get over here. Get over here. Plant some. Do some hoeing for crying out loud. No one's doing any hoeing. They're all doing farming, but no hoeing. Come on. Here we go. So let's see if they will. Okay. So they're like, screw that. Go there. Okay. Uh, how about? Uh, nobody wants to plant the flax? Somebody should want to plant the flax. Oh, our archer is just chilling out. Hey, back to work. Back to work, you little girl, sweetie. Alright, boom. Oh, what level is, uh, oh, look at all this update here. Alright, 11, stonemason, farmer, farmer, woodchopper, farmer, stonemason. Are you level 12 yet? Yes, you are. Yeah, awesome. Annabelle's level 12. So now... I believe all our infantry are level 12 and above, so we have... Yeah, Brohuff is 14, like a boss. He's the captain of the guard. And then we have Annabelle, which is 12, and Rebecca Smittens, which is 12. Oh, look at them go over here. Wow, these guys don't mess around. Yeah, so our infantry is complete, I would say, for now. Uh, oh, and it looks like they can walk through here, too, which is good. I was afraid... I was wondering if they'd be able to like fit through here, but I guess they, they did. I guess my design was alright. Okay. So that's good. But yeah, so our infantry are trained up to a decent, respectable level now. Uh, and it's time to... What is she doing? Eating? You taking a munch? Guess what? Go back to your day job. Uh, which is stone masoning. Wow, look at, look at how good she is. She's so good at that. Yeah, you do that. And you keep training, so... So I guess I'll leave our infantry at 12 for now, until we get like tons more rope to uh, to repair targets with and stuff. And but I will leave our uh, archer. Let's see, level 14, nice, 14 and a half. Melody Bricker, our sniper. I'm gonna just keep training her until she gets to like 18 or something, and then I'm gonna send her out and just mop the floor with like I'm gonna send her against like a whole army of like goblins or something, and uh, and see how she does <laughs> when the time comes. Cause uh, she's been she's been hogging those targets, so she should be good. Oh, good, they're finally planting that flax. Good for them. You're gonna need it for the ballistas. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't believe there's ballistas in this game, and I haven't even realized that they were in here yet. I thought they were still to be added. Oh, look, like it's done here. This is done. That's nice. We get some chicken things, and then yeah, the thing with the scaffolding, super easy, is just do a dig mine. And you go boop. Just double click that. And it just comes right off. No, no fuss, no muss. See you later, little thingies. Little stairs. Not stairs. Thingies. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, good. So we cleared up some of that. Chicken coops are now done enough. And I got this little, little uh, crappy kind of... Oh, what? They have holes in... They didn't finish. There's like holes in here. There's holes in my, in my chicken coop. What the heck? But yeah, we have some battlements here too. I thought they looked kind of funny, kind of cool. Just in case we have a battle on this side of the uh, this side of the pond, 
All right, so let's go fill this in here. Boop, boop. No, wait, they can't fill that in? Why not? Why can't they fill that in? What's what's under here? What's over here? Oh, there's a bush. So if there's a bush, uh, you can't fill it in. All right. Okay. So if I can't fill it in, then maybe I'll just cover it up. Like, uh, like maybe I can go like like that. Yeah, I'll just cover it up. Okay, that looks good. So I'll just block off that corner. And, uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, wait a second. Is that the right corner? Hang yeah, on So it looks like we're just going to have a little uh, hole in the roof here, but no big deal. Okay, so whatever. Uh, I heard some I heard some chopping over here. What's what's going on over here in Woodcuttersville? Um, where is... Where is... Where's our wood choppers at? Oh my gosh, there's, I'm no, there's no way I'm gonna tab through all the people that we have right now. We just have to look, we have to look out to the great beyond and see if we find any wood choppers on, our, on the horizon. And if we do, we can check out what they're doing exactly and where they are. Oh, I see one, way out here, hello. Doing a good job, huh? Yeah, there we go. Chop that wood, get it, get that wood. All right, chopping it. Oh, here's the other one. Well, good. So it looks like they're kind of close together. You kind of want people to work closer together sometimes, you know, like, so if they get, like, attacked or ambushed by, like, wolves or goblins or some kind of monster, they can at least work together with their axes or knives or fists to just kind of beat it up. So I try to keep the guys together uh, every, every now and then. Do we have any chickens yet on the map? That's the question. Do we have any chickens? We killed everything again, probably. And now, do we have any chickens? Before night comes... Hmm, all right, so I'm not seeing anything. I'm just seeing some wood choppers out here. Uh, zoom. Super fast, nope, nothing. No chickens, wow, they're so elusive. After we like had those four starved to death, I guess they're just like, we're out of here, we're, we're, we're beating it, beating it to the next town over. Well, you guys, you guys got the life. But, uh, and we still only have 75 feathers. What the heck is going on here? I don't get it. I mean, I think chickens are supposed to drop feathers, right? I, I would think, or I thought, maybe. If that's not the case, then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat them for dinner. That's uh, that's what's for dinner tonight, chicken. What are you doing? Why are you sitting here? One that's not farm without a hoe. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh crap. Um. Oh, how did everyone break all those hoes already? That's it. Make a million stone hoes right now. Let's do it. Tools, stone hoes, stone hoes. Where you at? Had enough of this nonsense. I can't keep up. Ever since we had the miners dig dirt, um, I can't keep up with this with this bronze hoe th fiasco. So let's just make like 50 stone hoes. I don't know, 80? Nah, that's <laughs> that's a little. Uh, all right, let's make 80. I'm tired of this. Let's make make just just do it. Let's make them work. Sick and tired of this. Yeah, okay. That's not farm without a hoe. Okay. I get it. That's right. Everyone out of there. Stop making the stone. Start making the hoes. Make a million hoes right now. <laughs> we'll never have to go we're n we'll never have to go ho hungry again no it doesn't work <laughs> okay so all right so it looks like it's almost evening guys um having some fun here uh, just uh, building some stuff up i put a little hole around this floor here uh so the tree can pop out and grow through it <laughs> so we'll have a tree growing in our little uh fancy place just kind of popping up through there through the levels. Uh, <laughs> I might even plant more trees in there eventually, just popping up through the levels. I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. It's just like, it's like if you're on the second floor and you're like eating or something and you're like, oh, that's a nice screenshot right there. But if you're like eating and you're like looking around, you're like, oh, it's like there's, there's a tree like right next to me here. Like, like a poofy, poofy top of a tree. That's interesting. It's like a grand Christmas tree. Okay, so. Looks like that's it for tonight. No spawns. Uh, everyone's busy though, making a uh, hose and making making them blocks work for us. So I'll probably get get back to you guys in the morning if we don't get any attacks. Sound the alarms. We've got a necromancer in town. Uh, not in town, but just outside of town. And he's setting stuff on fire and he's walking this way. Luckily, it's just a necromancer. But the alarm needs to be sounded. 
And uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure it was such a good idea eradicating all the livestock off the map. Because now we're getting spawns of monsters like crazy. Although it's not like it's nothing we can't handle. Wow, look at that guy catching it on fire. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's too dark or not. But I have awoken our warriors, I think. Hello? Are they in here? Oh, there we go. Yep, so we got our archer girl sniper. I think I'm going to send her in there first. I'm telling her to use these uh, stone-tipped uh, arrows. And uh, what what we got as, like, everything's, like, firing, exploding? Oh, okay, uh, how many? Uh, we got six of them? Okay, so she's going to get six shots before she has to come back and change her arrow type for uh, the next best. Oh, my goodness. All right, so go out there. Come on. All right, so let's see if she can get the job done. Also woke up everyone else. There's the uh, the, sp the spear people. But uh, actually, I, probably, I should probably give them swords. Swords are really, really good. They're really offensive. They can, like, decimate and destroy stuff. Oh, there's already a skeleton with this guy. Uh, oh, well, we'll see. We'll see the range on, uh, on these guys here. We'll see. Uh, hmm. Curious. Curious to see how Melody Bricker, our sniper, is going to do against this flaming monstrosity. Hopefully they leave our camp alone, though. I don't want them to, like, hurt our camp. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Attack. Alright, let's see. Let's see how she does. Maybe, you know, let me pause it. <laughs> let me get everyone else out here, too. Maybe I'll make a patrol route. And, uh, yeah, okay, some military. Uh, military patrol routes. Maybe guard positions, actually. Yeah, I'll say guard position. Put it, like, right over, like, smack dab here, where it's, like, crazy hectic stuff going on. So, guard position there. And then click on it, and uh, allow... Oh, I can't increase that. Uh, maybe it's bugged. All right, I'm just going to do the uh, patrol route. So uh, let's do design, military, patrol routes. The patrol route is to there and like there. Okay, that's your patrol route. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so everyone's going to go ahead and march on out. And, uh, yeah. All right, so I've told everyone to go ahead and do the uh, patrol routes. They are coming in formation, coming on out. Just in case Melody Bricker won't be able to take him. So let's see here. Uh, let's see when she recognizes there is a monster in front of her face. Let's see. How close does she need to get? I don't want to get her too close. Uh, but close enough to be like there's something. Okay, so sh she's spotted it. Alright, now she's taking shots. Alright, let's see how she does. Alright, she hit it. It is still in good health even after that shot with the stone... Uh, with the stone arrow. Hopefully she doesn't get hit with like a firebolt. Oh my gosh, is she gonna get hit with a firebolt? Wow, that's crazy! Okay, wait, wait, pause, pause. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, wow! So she got hit with a firebolt. And he's only injured. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out of here because I don't want her to die. That's kind of uh... I didn't realize he throws fire at people. Let's tell her to go back to sleep, maybe. <laughs> let's uh... Let's, uh okay, let me fumble with my controls here. Okay. Okay, you, you miss, you, uh, you just go back to sleep and, and pretend that this never happened. And uh, nice try, nice try. Okay, so we're learning. No, no, you're going back to sleep. Because that skeleton's coming up on her flank too. Coming right around. Ah, she got hit again. Oh my gosh, by, by a fireball. Luckily, she's taking it like a pro. But that's pretty dangerous. So she is, none of her stuff broke and she's, yeah, okay, going to bed. Now we got the brigade coming up here. All right, here we go, here we go. Charge, get him! Get him! All right. Someone got a hit. Brohoof got a hit, but he's fine, he's fine. Okay, everyone. Wow, s spawning more, more skeletons. I'll be darned. Okay, attack in unison. Attack together. Wow, fireballs? No way, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, look, now we can see what's going on because there's a flaming tree right next to us. Get him! Nobody die! Get him! Ah! Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, looks like crisis averted. How's everyone's health? Oh, everyone's good health. Wow! That was awesome. Oh, I was so much more scared than I uh, had than I needed to be. And none of no one's equipment broke. All right, cool. Crisis averted. So now that dawn is here, and the skeletons and the necromancer and all that nonsense has been taken care of, it is gone. There's nobody here, except for some ash, which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty badass on the map, looks good. Um, 
yeah, now that that's been dealt with, I'm thinking uh, we should start putting some lanterns up too uh, before uh, you know before the city gets uh, you know a little too dark here. I I wanna I wanna brighten it up with some lanterns. Let's just go ahead and do that. So get some lighting here, get some lampposts. We got enough animal fat for years. So I figure it would be nice to start putting you know before it gets too bright out, we can see which spots look dark. Uh, so let's see here, lampposts, lampposts. Uh huh. We'll put one right there. Yeah, see, so just kind of get this place, uh, because lampposts are important. They like, they kind of like add that flavor, that nice little, uh, homey feel to it. So we got like a nice little spacing. They almost look like traffic lights, actually. <laughs> they almost look like traffic lights. Let's get a lamppost by the chickens, because chickens, uh, need light too, or else they'll feel, uh, depressed. So we got some happy chickens now. Happy chickens, there we go. Get two lampposts there. So we know there's something going on there. We get like a lamppost maybe by, uh, like this corner over here. It seems pretty cool. I don't know. Seems like a good spot for lamppost. Um, let's put like, oh boy, our, car our carpenter is going to be busy after I'm done doing all this. Let's put one like right here. I don't know. We'll put something there eventually. And also at least we'll, uh, oh, let's put another one here. I'm getting crazy. I'm getting crazy with these lampposts. This is cool. Put one in that tree. Yeah. So we got one there, there, oh, one in this intersection, okay. And I think, um, also overnight, I think I noticed a, uh, a chicken on the map, too. So we'll go ahead and grab that chicken up, too, real quick. Because, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about that. So we'll get more chickens in the pen. Finally, all this fighting that we've been having to do, because we've been clearing all the uh, animals, all the livestock off the map, it's finally paying off. Finally, we will be able to, uh, just have like a regular old chicken popping in there. And I think I'm going to put a lamppost by this work area here. This work area seems pretty important. So I'm going to go ahead and put a lamppost right over just uh, maybe like up here. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll do something with that later. Make like a little town square thing out of it. So it looks good. So we'll get those lampposts building up. And yeah, here's the chicken I saw overnight. Oh yeah, heard ya. That's right, give Mr. Uh, Judas Loki something to do. Because he's just been uh, standing around, maybe feeding chickens every now and then, you know, refilling the, the troths or whatever. But all right, so I think that's the only chicken on the map from the knights that spawned up. Yeah, I think so. Whoa, I just kind of went like way off the map. I think that's it. Yeah, that's like the only other thing on the map. So finally, finally, we got another chicken, guys. Fantastic. And these builders are so fast. They're so fast at building things. Look at this. It's crazy. We're going to have to get some watchtowers going. I think I'm going to tell them to fill in all these streets with some stone. Get some watchtowers going. Uh, yeah, we still have like 800 cobble, cobble here for like building. Like it's ridiculous and still more stone yet. So we're going to have to get some serious building going on here. Maybe I'll put watchtowers at like every little corner. Like one there, one there, like at the little turns. And I'll put like beds in there for the soldiers. Definitely need a watchtower over here. Imagine if we had an archer and a watchtower right here. So she'd be just like shooting at the nonsense that spawns here all the time. Maybe this will be our first watchtower. But okay, so that's for next time. We'll go ahead and do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.